Mm, hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I'm back with another one. Uh, it's another chills video. This one is about doorbell cameras. Now, uh, this is it, it, pertaining to me specifically. I've had people try to break into my house very recently, so this is already a terrifying idea. Home B&Es uh, are usually scary to begin with, but we're gonna see if this is supernatural. Not with like Sam and Dean, but like, you know, like, you know, ghosts and stuff. <laughs> but or it's just people being crazy. All right. Five scary videos filmed by Doorbell. Number five. What you're looking at is Santa Clarita, California during the tick fire of 2019. Yo, that's insane. Okay, this is way scarier than anybody breaking into your house. Imagine your entire neighborhood being engulfed in flames and smoke. The homeowner writes, the fire had just started and within minutes it surrounded our home. People were evacuated only minutes before the fire approached. Dude, this is this footage is showing a, this is crazy to lead off with this because this is showing like every probably most of these houses and uh it's sad, I'm gonna say it, most of the pets or living animals in these houses is uh it's gone. It's gone. If they if they didn't get in a in a car and leave, it's gone. <laughs> It's crazy to watch. Los Angeles Magazine reports that the tick fire burnt through several thousand acres and forced mass evacuation of some 40,000 people. Luckily, no one was hurt in this video, and this family's home was miraculously saved. Oh, dude, I thought they were gonna be like, and then everybody died. And I was like, oh man, this is hard to watch now. Shouldn't have started with this one. Okay. Wow. No. I, how are you going to come back from that? That's like a catastrophic natural disaster. I felt like that should have been probably that's higher up Number there. Number four. This one's going to be like some guy standing outside of a doorbell. <laughs> outside of a ring cam, like outside of a house, just being like... Hold on, hold on I gotta do the bit like this. Oh. Hello. Hello. That's what the next one's gonna be like. I hope you like that. What? It's everyone's worst nightmare. A home intruder breaking in in the middle of the night. Hey, what do you need? That's the homeowner's voice. This homeowner said he thought one of his son's friends was trying to get into the garage. What do you need? But then the man came into the house. Hey. Hey. What do you oh, need, dude? dude? He's he's dude. Oh, I dude. didn't mean to run into your house. Yeah, he's off a of, oh man, he's off a of garbanzo bean right now. That man doesn't even know where he's at. I I don't even I don't even doubt it. I think he knows he's breaking in somewhere, but I have no doubt in my mind he has no idea where he's at right now. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> it looks like he just disappears too when he gets to that part. It looks like he just like evaporates. It's so funny. Terrifying though. Go it. <laughs> the homeowner doesn't know how far the man entered into his house. Somebody's got the back door, dude. Yo! For real. He ran out the front door to try and cut the man off, but he was gone. I'm not joking, dude. I don't want to see a light. Mm. Mm. That's why you lock your doors, man. That's why you lock your doors right there, because he just walked right in. Number three. Thank you. 
you can probably guess that this guy's not a construction worker. Oh my god, he's doing the thing I was doing. He was doing it. Worker. He might do it again. He sees the ring cam. He sees a ring cam and he goes for it. Dude, come on. Peers inside to see if anyone's home. Also, that didn't blur out his face at all, by the way. Like, I can see his face right now. Then he knocks again. He's looking Checking a bit to see anxious. if anybody's home. That's all he's doing. He tries to force the door. Notice he does so with a glove. No prints. Oh, that's oh, that's scary. This man's breaking into a house in the middle of the day. You know what I mean? What a maniac. Also with a glove, like he's a professional. You're not a professional. That glove will fit. Finally satisfied that the home is empty, he waves over his partner in crime. He's got somebody else? It's a double for a B&E? Tag team B&E? Yo, tag your friend you would do a B&E with right now. Tag him in the comments. Then he calls someone on the radio. He's a radio? He thinks it's Ocean's Eleven. I swear to God. What is this? A $350,000 house? Please. There ain't, there pro there's probably like maybe 10 grand worth of stuff in here. If you could move out the couch. What is he doing? No. A loud ass beep? Are you you going to get a walkie talkie but you're not going to silence it? Looking. Yeah, I'm looking in. What does that mean? Yeah, I'm looking in. He's so nervous. His partner comes up. Yo, you know that's like a that right? That's a ring can. Like they can see it. They're right. They they can see us. So nervous. The most nervous guy you've ever met does a B and E. His partner arrives. Identifiably a dude wearing a certain logo on a certain hat. Maybe that's his least favorite team. So people would be like, nah, he would never wear a Knicks hat. It would just he he's not he's not a fan of them. Oh my god, it's a New York Yankees cap. Crazy. Armed with the tools to break in. In short order, they try and force the door. That's a screwdriver. He's trying to open a door with a Phillips head. Right? Didn't he just pass a Phillips head to him? Armed with the tools to break in. Hey, that's a Phillips head. He's trying to pry open a door with a Phillips head. You know they have crowbars, right? You can go buy a crowbar anywhere. I'm not. I'm not telling you to go break in somewhere. I'm just saying these are professionals. They're pretending like it's Ocean's Eleven, and then he hands him a, he hands him a goddamn Phillips head to open up a door to pry open a door. In short order, they try and force the door. But their plan is soon thwarted. Is he just watching from right there? That's his lookout, is right behind him. Dude, the dumbest people you know are criminals. I swear, every time. Get away from the door! The homeowner was alerted on their phone and confronted the men through their doorbell camera, chasing them away. And triggering an alarm. Those dudes could barely get dressed in the morning by themselves. I don't think they were much of a harm, but it is crazy that, like, they were going to sit there for, like, three hours trying to pry on the front door with a Phillips head instead of just, like, busting out a window and jumping through it with the Phillips head. Like, I, no, no difference here. He would have broke the front door eventually. Number two. This is terrifying. 
already terrifying. It's nighttime. They got masks. Would you open the door if the police came dressed like this? These two suspicious men are trying to pull one over on this homeowner. Oh, he's got a gun in his pocket. Crazy. This one's scary. They're knocking at three in the morning. Censoring the firearm, I imagine. When they finally speak, they claim to be from CPD or Columbus Police Department. Ohio? CPD, open up. We need to ask you a couple questions. Ohio? Columbus, Ohio? Let me look it up. Hold on. Let me look it up. I'm pretty sure CPD is Columbus Police Department. Chicago Police Department. Oh, you got me. You Oh, you got me thinking. Oh, you think the police are coming knocking on my door in Chicago at 3 a.m. and I'm going to answer it? You got another thing coming. Uh, what, what's the... You know, I don't know if this is Chicago, but we'll, we'll, we'll continue. It doesn't look like Chicago, but there's suburbs in every major city, so, I mean... Doesn't look like Columbus either. I don't think he's wearing that mask because he's sick. Chills, come on, dude. We know why he's wearing the mask. That was funny, but you took me out of it. <laughs> I don't think he's wearing the mask because he's sick. He tries again. He tries again. At last, he gets an answer. Can I help you? CPD, we need to ask you a couple questions. I'm sorry. I don't know, brother. CPD, we need to ask you a couple questions. May you please step to the front door, please? Obviously, the homeowner knows what's going on, but these guys are oblivious. They get into position. CPD. Yes, this is CPD. We would like you to step to the door, please. Meanwhile, the homeowner has called the cops. Mm. Can I see a badge? We would like you to step to the door, please, sir. I don't have to show you my badge, sir. Hmm. That is something a cop would say. Okay, give me a second. Okay. <laughs> According to city okay. data, Columbus, Ohio has a crime rate one point. Oh, it was Columbus. I was right. I was right. It was Columbus, Ohio. It's not Chicago. I could tell. I could tell. It was mainly because the guy didn't have like a thick Chicago accent. He didn't start juking. <laughs> he wasn't like, I need to ask you a couple questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're gone. We're moved on to the next. Bit. Three times higher than the U.S. average. Dude, Columbus is crazy. There were 641 burglaries per 100,000 residents in 2019. Look at that big ass dude, bro. He looks like he's 6'7. He looks huge from this angle. The other guy looks six foot. Look at that car compared to him. I know there's like a, you know, like a distance thing, but still. They try knocking again. Why would you knock at that point? If you know somebody's home, right, is this like a specific like hit? Are you out to like get this guy? I, I don't understand. Why are you after this specific house? Why not wait till he leaves? CPD, open the door. Little do they know the real CPD is on the way. Finally, they give up, and they walk away empty-handed. Wow. Wow. And you know what happened? They did that to somebody else a couple days later. Because the cops came, and they're like, mm, well, we got their faces. Nothing we can do about it. All right, see you on the next one. Number one. A tornado tore through Kentucky, and this doorbell camera bore witness... If you don't think what you're seeing deserves the number one spot, then listen to this.
while this is very terrifying, I think having your uh, neighborhood engulfed in flames is a little bit scarier than a tornado. I think the tornadoes are in a way beautiful uh, and deadly. You know, it's like one of those things. Nature's scary, but amazing, magnificent at the same time. The fire, I mean, while it is natural a lot of times, it doesn't start naturally, but while it is like a natural part of, you know, the world, um, much scarier. Because uh, tornadoes can jump. So you could like, like the house in the middle could be gone. But the house next to it, perfectly fine. Somebody's driving. Look at him driving. He's driving right now. In the middle of a tornado. Oh, that's his house. Okay. This has been Documented Reality. That's it? Thank you to these individuals for allowing me- That's it? I didn't even see any tornado- He's driving! In the middle of a tornado. What's scary about that? I didn't see anything. I'm disappointed. But, um, I mean, hey, look, you know, you can't always, you know, you do this every week, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, the scariest one to me was the, uh, one where they were saying they were CPD open the door. Uh, used to have a bit when I worked for UPS a while ago, a long time ago, where I'd bang on the door and I'd go bang 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 and if it was somebody like I knew because I delivered to people around me I'd be like UPS open up people thought that was funny but it was also broad daylight and I wasn't wearing a mask okay well I'll see you on the next one uh, have a good one everyone All right, goodbye hasta la vista my little mucklings bye bye mm -hmm. uh, um, tax exam